Welcome to day four of Inktober with the prompt word freeze. I'm working on plastic today. It's Yupo Medium by Legion, and it's a synthetic plastic paper, but really it's plastic. And I'm using alcohol inks on it, and also some ink pens, the Pentel brush pen. I'm not sure if it's actually going to hold though, so I'll have to wait and see how that turns out after I give it some time to dry. And my piece that I'm drawing, <laughs> blanked there for the word, is a painted turtle. I've never actually been able to see one in the wild, even though I now live in the US and the eastern painted turtle is something that I could see or come across. And I thought that it was appropriate for the prompt word of freeze for three reasons. Firstly, they like to freeze and bask in the sun for many hours at a time. The adults also uh, hibernate during the winter. They sink down to the bottom of their slow moving creeks and they just bury in the mud until the winter is over. And then the third reason is that the juveniles can actually freeze themselves it seems and thaw out once the spring turns or comes around again. So you can see me using my alcohol inks here, trying to mix a black because I didn't receive one in the palette packs where I got them at the start of this month. Um, unfortunately, sort of unfortunately, when I start to apply the inks, they all kind of start separating out into their individual colors. After painting for a little bit though, I actually quite like that effect. It's a cool sort of grayscale with regions of color blooming through it. It's kind of a purpley gray from mixing them all together. And yeah, I ended up quite liking it, but I did want the colors to be darker. And I guess that's where my mistake went or where I feel I made mistakes on this piece because I think that I was actually having some success in painting with these alcohol inks even though it's loose and it blooms and it flows in unpredictable ways I quite liked the effect of the first layer and even the second layer a little bit but then I started to think well I could just punch up the color a little more by dropping directly onto the the Yupo paper or the plastic and I guess that's where things, for me, I feel started to go wrong. I start to find that the colors move as they're drying in unpredictable ways, far more than I expected them to. And it gets worse as I add even more and more of these droplets as I keep going on, trying to see what I can do to fix the situation, I guess, or just to maybe experiment. I don't know really what I was thinking. It was kind of going wrong, but I was just pushing ahead. I'm like, I'm gonna get through this ugly phase, but it didn't really work. And the biggest mistake I made was putting in a background or trying to put in a background because I placed down the colors in a way that I thought was pleasing and decided to go wash up and clean up the tools a little bit while that was drying. And when I came back, I found that the background had completely bled into the turtle and had completely shifted out the, the paint that I'd carefully put down over the last 30 minutes or so. So it was really quite disappointing. but. Really, I guess it had already reached a kind of ugly stage that was a failure in my mind anyway. Oh, I also added rainbow glitter to the eye because I just wanted to use some rainbow glitter and it's so shiny and sparkly. It's so cool. If you haven't seen it, you should... I'll put a card up to when I unboxed it and used it for the first time because it's such a cool product. It's just amazing, these alcohol inks. The ones I'm using are the Marabou alcohol inks, but you can get all sorts of different brands of them. I also super recommend that you wear gloves and you also would need to have some good brushes and some um, isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol so that you can thin down the inks and get them to flow a little bit more as well. Although in the case that I'm doing here or for this piece, I had them flowing way too much. So to try to rescue it, after I let it dry a little bit, I started to go in with a Kurotake ink pen. It didn't really hold very well, so then I switched to the Pentel Pocket Brush Pen. I think it's got India ink in it, and it seems to be holding a little bit more, but it's also dissolving on the edges in parts. I'm not sure if that's because I didn't leave the inks, the alcohol inks, to dry fully overnight, or if that 
um, Pentel pocket brush ink just won't work over the alcohol ink or the alcohol is dissolving the ink. Um, I guess there's a whole bunch of reasons why it could not be setting or working properly. But I feel like I ended up creating a sort of interesting piece in the end. Certainly not something that I'm super over the moon with or super happy with, but I think that's something to keep in mind during Inktober. And if you're doing Inktober for the first time, I really encourage you to experiment and try new things out and be prepared to have some failures along the way. And I don't know, it, it's in some part, aspects of my mind, this piece is a failure and in other parts, I think it's successful and I certainly learned a lot from it. And that's the true success of doing a challenge like this, to learn and improve and to grow as an artist and to find some new ways to approach things or maybe even some completely new interests to pursue. So that is the prompt for day four. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new, please consider giving me a like and subscribing and let me know down below what you think of the painted turtle and how I worked with these alcohol inks. I just don't think this one worked out so well. Anyway, I'll see you guys soon for another art adventure. Take care, everyone.